Hey guys, check out this Monday morning Bitcoin trade that I took that netted me just under $700. So my premium community and I had been watching Bitcoin over the last two weeks, waiting for it to finally break its previous week low or to break its swing low. And what we were really looking for is some sort of buy side sweep to be able to take that to the low side of the range. You know, all signs were leading to Bitcoin collapsing under this $25,400 level. If you just go back and look at the price action, you can see that we were capped very evidently by the monthly open, okay? So that is confirmation that price is respecting that level and wants further downside, wants to, to push lower. If we look back in time, we're looking back at price, we can see we had the swing low. So let's go back, let's go into the hourly, okay? So we can see we had this major, major, major push down here uh, back in the beginning of August or mid-August. And then we kept retracing into this level, not quite retracing down to the bottom of the wick. But, you know, we, we created this wick down here. And then we can see that we had respected that wick three times in a row, three drops in a row that we just wicked down to that level, didn't quite sweep it and then retrace. So that's a lot of liquidity just resting below that level. Our daily bias was to the downside here. We're expecting to come fill this wick. So if our daily bias is to the downside, and we have liquidity to the downside, then we're looking for a reason to trade this to the downside. Now let's look at the monthly open. Let's see how this has crazily capped the, the upside here. Um, and you could have potentially used to trade. You could have potentially gotten multiple trades just using the monthly open as a confluence. So if we look, we'll go on to the 15 minute. So if we look at this level here, monthly open, we hit it once, twice, rejected, we break above, kind of hang out around here. But then after we finally broke down here, we hit it once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, you can potentially count this as eight, nine, 10 times where we rejected by the monthly open, okay? At some point you gotta be like, okay, well, this is clearly acting as resistance, so I'm gonna try to trade this down. So originally what we did, we were looking for these highs to be swept. This was clearly mapped out and we had talked about it on our premium streams. We we're looking for these highs to be swept before we continue to the downside. If we look to the left, there's a whole bunch of imbalances here that needed to be filled and liquidity just being built up at that level. That acts as fuel to take us to the opposite side of the range or to where we're targeting. If our daily bias is to the downside, then likely, price comes up and takes these levels, comes up and takes these levels, that's gonna act as fuel to send it to the downside. Broke above, broke above, immediately SFP'd close below. Immediately SFP'd close below. So then what a lot of us were targeting within my premium community is a three minute imbalance up here. We were looking for a retest of this level to be able to trade this down, okay? We didn't quite get the retest, so I missed my original entry. So I was looking for potentially another retest into it, but I guess I could see that heading into the New York Open, which is around when I woke up, I saw that we had some consolidation happening here. Okay, we had some consolidation happening near the New York Open. So that's setting up a, an internal liquidity level. So let's go on the five minute. We're finding internal liquidity, okay? What I want you to notice looking at this chart, and this is something we talked about, is the consolidation, the manipulation, and then the distribution. We have accumulation of a position in this level. We have essentially consolidation. We have a manipulative move to take out the highs, to take out the liquidity at the top, and then distribution to the downside, okay? If we're looking at this on the smaller scale, on the five minute, let's go back onto the one hour and look at this right here. What do we see? Is this not the same thing? Is this not a fractal? Actually, let's go on the 15 minute. Okay, right here, what do we have? We have accumulation. We have manipulation right up here. And then we have distribution to the downside. The exact same thing happening just on a smaller time frame, something to consider when you're taking your trade. So how did I get into this trade? So we, we swept above, crashed below, didn't quite get the retrace into my entry. Uh, that would have been a nice trade, but you know, we miss it. Sometimes you miss it, right? So now I'm looking for a way to get in to send this to the previous week low. So I see this happening. 
I see the consolidation, the consolidation happening. New York Open, New York Open coming up, wicking above, taking out these stops, and then violently closing below. Violently closing below with displacement. So we're on the three minute now. Let's jump on the five and look at it. Big, big close above. Next, immediately the next candle, big close below, breaking structure. That to me is alarm bells are ringing that now, okay, we just swept liquidity and we're heading in the next direction. So I'm looking for trend continuation now. That's what this trade was, trend continuation to the downside. My target was the previous week low. Targeting the previous week low right here, which is also coincides with all of these wicks. One, two, three wicks. Uh, three wicks now at that level gives us confluence that that is a good target to hit. Okay, and it's also our previous week low. Those who follow me know that I oftentimes target the previous week low or the previous week high because there's a very high probability that we hit that level. My original target, that was about a 2.6 R. Okay, but knowing that how much liquidity was at that level, I wanted to maximize my upside. So I decided to remove my take profit here and see how it reacted once we got to that level. Because in my, in my experience and in my mind, I was expecting a Big push through if we're hitting stop losses. If we're hitting all these stop losses, this is going to have a big expansion move through. Uh, and that's exactly what happened. So I removed my stop loss. We got a big push through and I ended up closing at around right here, 25,246, uh, which gave me an extra R, which gave me an extra uh, few hundred dollars. So uh, you don't want to be doing that for all of your trades. You, you want to make sure that you're, you're hitting your targets first. Uh, but if you have a good reason to extend your take profits, then you can do it. And that's exactly why uh, I did it here. So this trade netted me just under $700 and was just a pure bread and butter setup. As a recap, okay, we're looking for a continuation play to the previous week low. My daily bias was down. We had consolidation before the New York Open. And we're expecting continuation to the downside. We had a liquidity sweep with displacement or a violent move to the downside. Those are all triggers for me to jump into this trade or short. So that's about it. If you like my, tr my style of trading or you like the way that I explain things, make sure to join my free community, Income Mastery, okay? There's a lot of free information in there to help people go from complete beginner trader to someone who knows what they're doing. We have a lot of people in there trading different, bunch of different styles. We're not dogmatic in there. You can trade, if you wanna trade harmonic butterflies like uh, Crypto Tim does here, you're more than happy to. I might make fun of you a little bit, but um, that's the kind of community we're, we're trying to have in there, non-dogmatic and a good place to go learn. If you're looking to take it to the next level, if you're looking to, to really accelerate your, your learning journey or your trading journey, join the I Am Trading course, okay? That gets you access to our premium community where you can learn directly from me and some of the other premium members who are also killing it in there. People who are making up their course fees within one or two trades, okay? It's a great place to learn. And it's a great place to meet like-minded individuals who are also on the same journey as you. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.